Today we are going to the cat cafe in Shinjuku which you can see easily by the cat sign that's outside the door. Yay cats! And you go in the corridor and it's a little bit weird which is why I'm showing you what it looks like because at first it was like oh we're in the right place. Going down the corridor. I don't know why I'm singing I'm sorry. I probably should have sped this bit up. Oh look, we're at the lift now. And you press the button and you go in the lift, that's how lifts generally work. And the cat cafe is on the sixth floor, which is quite clearly marked by the paw print. And up we go. Oh look, we're actually at the cat cafe now at last. So this is actually the second floor of the cat cafe, it's two floors, as you can see there's loads of cats just hanging around, lots of cat trees for them to climb onto and they are all over the place basically, hidden away if you spot them all in their little hidey holes. There's also books um, with all the cats names and a little bit about their personality. All the cats in this particular cat cafe are purebreds so you can find out what their breed is if there's a particular one you really like. Um, some of the cats had red scars around their necks and you wasn't allowed to give them treats because they had liver liver disease I think it was um, so it's quite interesting they all had their they was clearly all very well looked after you can also order food in the cat cafe um, you eat that in a separate room so obviously the cats can't get a hold of it so at the back of the book there's the menu with the food it's mainly Japanese style food like omelette rice you can also order hot or cold drinks very typical like lattes, milk tea and the drinks you have in the actual cat area itself. Oh and we was really lucky this time we got to see the cats being fed. I've been to this cat cafe before and not actually seen this so I am try and find out what times of the day they do this because that was quite interesting. It was literally just like a stampede of all the cats running over at once and you can pick up uh, it was dry pellets of food so you can actually pick them up and feed them to the cats which if you don't want to pay for treats is a great way to get them to come over to you. So yeah, this was definitely a lot of fun. We have two Persians here that decided to be my best friends because I had cat treats. <laughs> the black and ginger one I actually made friends with last year so that was funny that uh, she's still there. So yeah, you can buy little pots of fresh chicken that I've got there. It's quite cheap. I would definitely recommend it because you'll make a lot of friends. The only problem is if the cafe is busy at that particular time then sometimes the cats will still ignore you but if you go first thing in the morning when it's really quiet and have treats all the cats will run over to you. Yeah, poor little Persian, it <laughs> didn't even want treats, it just wanted a cuddle. There's also lots of manga to read on the shelves. Uh, that's what my fiance spent a good amount of time doing. As you can see it's in Shinjuku as well so there's good views if you want to sit out the window if the cats aren't your sort of thing. And this is the first floor. Um, the lockers there are for you to store your personal belongings in. You keep your shoes outside where you also wash your hands so you don't bring in any diseases. We have more cats up here. There's also a Wii if you want to sit and play games. So Cat Cafe is just a really great place to hang around and see lots of cats. Yeah, I'll leave you to enjoy the cat footage. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the Calico Cat Cafe in Shinjuku if I hadn't already mentioned. And you can also play with toys with the cats, but uh, I found both on both my visits the cats were pretty unresponsive to the toys and you should end up annoying them to be honest. Thanks for watching, bye!